Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to do mushroom chicken in soya sauce. Alright, so um, I'm using shiitake mushroom. This is actually the dried version, um, but I'm soaking, you need to soak it for around about half an hour. With I'll show you the uh, dried one. Okay, I buy it this way, it's dried. You can get it from your nearest supermarket. Alright, shiitake mushrooms. Alright, uh, these are the dried type. You need to soak it for at least half an hour or more to hydrate it back again. Alright. Okay, I'm just using around about four pieces. And uh, same with the chicken, I'm using also around about four pieces of chicken. A bit of uh, onion, uh, around about four pips of garlic. And uh, this time I'm using a bit more ginger. Alright, because I want it a little bit more uh, spicy a bit. Okay, so we'll start by cutting up the stuff. Alright, so uh, just slice it as you would normal, normally do. Okay. Ginger. I'm using a large piece of ginger. Okay. And I'm just going to slice it, uh, large slices like this. Okay. Oh, by the way, if you want to use oyster, uh, sorry, if you want to use um, sesame seed oil, it's optional. Okay. I shall be using sesame seed oil because I like the uh, fragrance it brings. Okay. Right now, the garlic. All right. Okay. There we go. Then we'll do the mushrooms. Okay, so we'll be doing the mushrooms. Uh, by the way, the water that you soak the mushrooms in earlier, don't throw it away, okay? We keep this. We're going to use it uh, for when we are cooking. Okay, so uh, now for the shiitake mushrooms, now that it's all soft and hydrated again, um, you need to cut off the uh, little <laughs> the little knob here, okay? Alright, let's try it because uh, um, even when it's cooked, it's kind of hard to eat, alright? So you just cut that part off. It's just a little bit Okay. Some of it might might not have, or like some will have, okay? So like this one, it has a large piece here. Can you see that? Okay, so you just cut it off. Right. Okay. Yeah, this one is okay. It's, it's flat. All right, so... There we go. So I'm cooking the mushrooms whole like this, but if you like, you can actually uh, cut it in half. All right. Uh, if you want, you can cut it in half. And remember, don't throw away the water, the mushroom water. We're going to use this. Right, so for... I'm using uh, sesame seed oil. Uh, you can use use ordinary oil, and towards the end, you can put in the sesame seed oil. I'm just going to use this to uh, fry the uh, the onions and the ginger and the garlic because I, I love the fragrance of the uh, sesame seed oil okay so you can you can oops. all right add in, add in your ingredients okay. As I said, the sesame seed oil, if you don't want to use uh, sesame seed oil uh, when frying, you can use it uh, towards the end, alright? I like the fragrance of it. That's why I'm using sesame seed oil to fry this uh, the onion, ginger and garlic first. Alright, and then uh, now you can add in the chicken that you marinated with the soya sauce. Don't throw away your soya sauce, we'll be adding it, uh, the soya sauce in, in a bit, okay? Just want to, uh, want to brown the chicken a little bit, okay? Just want to brown the chicken a bit, alright? Want to brown it a little bit, that's all, okay?
And as I said, uh, don't don't throw away the soya sauce that it, the chicken was marinating in. You know, okay, keep it keep it aside. Just want to brown the chicken a bit. Keep remember, don't throw away your mushroom. Uh, that uh, the water that you soak the mushroom in as well. Keep it as well. All right. I'm just trying to brown it a little bit more before I, I start adding in the other ingredients. Okay. Just want to brown it a little bit better. That's all. Just seal in the dishes, the dishes and all. Okay. Okay, now you can add in the soya sauce, the marination sauce that uh, the chicken was in. Okay, you can add that in. And you can add in the uh, water that the mushroom was soaking in as well. Okay. I'm just going to wait for a bit more before adding in the mushrooms. Okay. Just going to let the chicken cook for a bit more before I add in the mushrooms. Okay. And as it's boiling nicely, you can add in your mushrooms now. And um, I'm just using very little salt because I don't want it to be too salty because we already have the soya sauce inside. So I don't want it to be too salty. Alright. Okay. Now I'm going to add in uh, this. Uh, this is some uh, corn flour mixed with water. You can use cornstarch as well, as well to make it thicker. This is optional if you like. Alright. Okay. Give it a stir and leave it to cook. Okay. Cook, cook for a bit. We'll come back and to there this. There we have it. Uh, mushroom chicken and soya sauce. Okay, thank you everyone for joining me. Hope you will uh, test out my recipe. Don't forget to like my video and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you everybody. Take care and goodbye.